Hello everybody, welcome to the Mix Lab. I am Joel Wanasek and today we're gonna to take a look at vocal delays in verse vocals and getting your verse vocals to lock more into the mix. Now delay is a really powerful mixing tool that is very, very useful when mixing uh, to get your vocals to really gel into the mix. So when you hear a dry vocal, no matter how well it's compressed or EQ'd in a mix, usually it's gonna sound a little bit disconnected. So let me play this for you. And that's just a straight vocal run into some basic compression and basically, you know, sitting in a pretty decent spot mix wise here in this rough mix. So we're going to take a look at some different types of delay. And um, when you're mixing, there's a couple of different ways you can attack it. So the first one would be a mono delay. So let me open up these two delays I've got. I've got an eighth note and a 16th note, uh, very similar settings. Mine here, let me adjust the filter on this. Okay, so there's a couple things to talk about in terms of delay. So mono delay is gonna be really interesting because it's not gonna be very wide and it's gonna be very kind of up the middle and you can use it a lot to gain ambience on a vocal. Whereas a stereo delay is gonna sound a bit wider and depending if you decide to make it ping pong or whatever you wanna do, um, you can create all kinds of very interesting effects. Um, a good practice sometimes is having like a mono style reverb and delay on a verse. And then when you hit the chorus in the song, opening it up into stereo effects and getting lots of big bouncing delays and things like that to kind of make everything sound wider. So let's hear what some of the mono delays sound like on the vocals. So I'm going to start out here with a 16th note, which is going to be very tight in this song. Who holds a silver stray? Lost in a stagnant mode. That almost sounds like a reverb, which is kind of cool in a way, but again, it's mono, it's up the center, and you can control which frequencies are getting affected here by using the filters. So right now I've got this rolled off at about 4,000. I don't want it to be super bright. Okay, let's hear what the eighth note delay sounds like now. Who holds a silver stray? Lost in a stagnant motion. Sounds kind of like an echo. Let's go up to a quarter note. Who holds a silver stray? Lost in a stagnant motion. When you run away, whoever changes shape. Okay, now that we've heard it, let's do it in the mix and have a listen to how these different delays feel. So, first off, we're going to start with the 16th note. So, I'll go back and forth in solo so you can kind of hear everything. So the 16th definitely feels a little bit weird for this mix, so we're gonna get rid of that. Let's try the eighth note and see how that sounds. Now let's go up to a quarter. It still feels a little bit weird for this song. And out of all the mono delays on this song, the quarter note one is actually my favorite. It feels like it fits the mix the best. Okay, so let's get rid of these mono delays now. And let's take a look at the two stereo delays. So I've got H delay here, and I've got a quarter note and a quarter note. And one of them is set to ping pong, and one of them is not. So let's hear what the regular one sounds like. Who holds a silver string? 
So very similar to the mono, I also have the lo-fi button on this to kind of, you know, get rid of the top end and the bottom end of the frequencies. So now let's hear what ping pong sounds like. It's going to be a little bit different and more anthemic. Who holds a silver string? Lost in a stagnant motion. Now let's compare them in the mix. I'm going to take a pass here with just the regular quarter note, which is going to be similar to like it sounded on the mono delay. Who holds a silver string? Now let's go to the stereo delay here with the bouncing ping pong, and this is gonna sound way more epic. So that's pretty cool, it's pretty anthemic, but as I said, there's a lot of stereo left-right bouncing going on, so that may or may not be a liability in the chorus, depending on how you wanna build the song. Now the fourth type of delay here we're gonna take a look at, or I should say, sorry, the third, is using a stereo delay almost like uh, a really tight slap back bathroom kind of effect. And this can be good for using as a widener. So I've got this on a 30 second note, and I'm just gonna go and filter down, um, let's just be pretty aggressive here with it. Uh, the numbers don't necessarily matter too much, but I'm just basically keeping just the mid-range here. Let's go up to like 3,000. So this is going to make it sound more, I would say, bathroomy and give it a unique sound. Who holds a silver string? Lost in a stagnant motion. When you run away, whoever changes shape. Now you can hear that that's extremely subtle. Let's hear it in the mix and see what it does. And that's kind of a cool way to make our vocals feel a little bit bigger and a little bit more exciting. So let's leave that on. That sounds cool, I like how it is. It's very subtle. And then let's go add this quarter note delay and we're gonna kinda cascade these a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna bring all the mix amounts down to be very subtle. Uh, actually, let's go back to one of these here. I'm gonna use the 16th note just for fun. And we're just gonna use these all on very low amounts and uh, cascade these delays here in series and see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna make it a little bit wider, but you can hear these all kind of play nice and they all add different types of elements. We've got the uh, 16th note delay, we've got the quarter note delay here, and then we've got the 32nd for width. Who holds a silver string? And when we switch back and forth, when I take all the delays off, what it sounds like now is the vocal's a little bit disjointed from the mix and it feels like it's just kind of floating in space. But as soon as I put the delays on, which are all kind of subtle and adding their own little thing, it sounds a lot more like a mixed vocal.
All right, well, that gives you a couple of ideas of what types of delay effects you may commonly see in verse vocals and how to use them and potentially where to use them. Now, the most important thing is that every song is gonna be different that you're mixing, and it's always good to have a couple of different delay effects up. Listen to how they sound. For example, does a ping pong sound better than a mono delay? Do I want a stereo slapback style delay as a widener, et cetera? Just kind of experiment with everything in your mix and try to find the set of effects where if you turn it off, it feels like the vocals lose their gel with the mix, and then when you instantiate the plugins back on, what happens is the vocals lock into the mix and they feel a lot more finished and a lot more polished.